Number nine, because Roald Mitchell, very, very slick. Slip about slippery, quick. Kid is unreal. As Wake Forest already tried. That is an interesting call to say the least, as this is very dangerous, but a blast at least put on by Bacharach. Now you remember Bacharach did score. No, Coach Muse says no. Nope. Escrobato cleans this one, and here's Flax. He put it on the ground, almost skated by to the left of Harms. That was well designed. Right to Cummins. Cummins all the way up. Puts it on the floor, and rolled massive long ball. Wallin is able to track it down. Todd Yeagley brought up, right? They, Bobby Muse told us. This is not a good spot to turn it over. Mahalik, what a stop by Trace Alpha. And Trace gets up immediately and takes a stern look at his defense. After Dependable sends this one over with his left foot. Here's McDonald, the Greensboro product that sent that one over the bar in Indiana. It's very important for Indiana as they knock it around inside the 18, close to the 6. Looks like a mouse in the house. Everybody looking around trying to find it. Sends some height on that one. Trying to Let's cook it here. Lift it. Here's Wallint. Here's Roald Mitchell. Bang! Oh, it's just a little wide. That looked like it had rippled the net. I think I speak for everybody here at Spry Stadium. That that Wake Forest again on the attacking third. This is deflected. And in! That one will count! Jelani Forbes, the one that has the juice, provided the juice here in the second round against the Indiana Hoosiers. 1-0, Wake Forest. Jelani Forbes missed the through ball at the beginning of that buildup, but don't tell him that because he went right back at it on the recycle. And Ali really benefited from it. And here's McDonald. He'll start scanning and see if they can blueprint corner. And this is popped over, still dangerous, banged around. I think Barger, Barger had a good look at it. And Wake, it's just excellent by both teams on both ends. Here's Roll. Mitchell, fight. The Deeks want more. Wallin. What a move. Wallin tried to poke that. Paris took it away, but Gumbale, what a turn. Left footed blast for taking it with his right, curling it in. And Trace Alpin is knocked down to the ground. Looked like he had it right at his chest. That is looking a, for it. That's a some blatant help. foul. And the referee, I think, has the assistant referee has finally given it. Uh, Just charging. Pokes it to the right. Oduro sliding. Oh, that's Grabato. Right foot. There's a one touch by Perez trying every class. That ball gets away. Sauber on a half volley that just went a little too high. Uh, you, Wake Forest is flirting with five. It doesn't year after year have a top five recruiting class. Sauber wants to get it right back in the mixer. Look how many white jerseys there. There Here comes the corner. In swinger once again trying to get on that far stick. And Trace Alpin has gotten knocked down multiple times. He is absolutely I Indiana with a lot of horses inside that 18 flicked and then stopped dead in its tracks again. Trace Alpin here towards the end of this first half. Bacharach scored off a corner and that was the to stay up one nil. A goal by Jelani Forbes and that's where Wake Forest sits. Just a one goal lead over the you, you got to be conscious of that, and Wake Forest, yikes, got all those shutouts. This is well played. Oh, oh trying to find Rold Mitchell, and Rold Mitchell trying to fight off Oduro, and Rold Mitchell's going to get called for the fight. Wake Forest at nine themselves, and Indiana, here's a good look, and what a smash by Mahalik. Goodness, I couldn't even keep up with that. Mahalik. Brilliant save by most came up huge there. Indiana ears, McDonald, left foot. What a turn. Mitchell, this is what he does. And it just went to the right of the frame. Man, how many times you've seen Rold Mitchell? Nobody there. Rold Mitchell putting it down. And once again trying to go for that near stick harms.
Man, the Hoosiers, Gumbali is inside. Gumbali is the target. This one gets across and almost links up with Oduro. And Escrobano was right there. Corners now for the Hoosiers. Still trying to find that equalizer, and there it is. Off the back of the head by Bacharach. He has done it again here at Spry. He found the equalizer when he came here as a knight from FDU, and he does it here in the second half of round 32. The transfer from FDU draws even with the Demon Deacons. Now, you mentioned it right before. The ball is played to the right. Here's Oduro and Indiana. Scrobato, and Scrobato teasing, probing. Here is to throw. Hoosiers trying to get the lead, and it all... Flack stays down. Barger, full of a lot of history. Flax across, trying to get back up on his feet. Is rolled Mitchell, and now here in this second half, we've seen a little bit of bad luck. Now onto this wig. Throw it. Here's Forbes. Draws in two defenders. To Donald. With some time and some space, puts a right-footed blast that had a heat seeker. By Mitchell, straight up the gut. Here's Rold Mitchell, Rold Mitchell. That's going to be a point, and that is a PK. And he may be off. That's a yellow card. That's lucky because that's technically a last-man foul, and you can be sent off for a last-man foul. 12 yards away. From giving the Deeks the lead, and he sends it top drawer, and the Deeks are back on top. What a blast. You cannot hit a penalty better than that. Does not give the goalkeeper any chance to make the save. What a rip. This has got to be one of the most entertaining and confusing. Well played by Swallen. Wake Forest looking for an extra one, and it's headed just away. Rolled Mitchell. How many times is he that success? They're, so they're both going neck and neck. Another good spray ball by Cummins. On results, too. Yeah. They yeah. just had results. Oh, Doro! And deflected and bounced on again. This will be level. And who was on the end of it? This time, it was Hinderlaw who got a piece of it. After pinged around inside the six, Hinderlong, the transfer from save here's a foot race this looks promising Kennedy bending it punched away wants to end Wake Forest season here a turnaround and at 10 seconds remaining in regulation Trace out and punching it very well could result into the it's a huge moment in this game tie because yeah. now even if they go down to the we'll see we'll see how this uh, plays out but both teams of full strength going into overtime uh, heavyweight battle between these two. It's it's getting real. Wow. I'm still lucky twice. Indiana's come back and leveled it up twice. And the game. Another wave of attack here by Indy. This is whipped in. Once again, sprayed and another half volley that just levitated over. Another set piece. And McDonald behind it. He's dangerous. And this is going to get past Trey Southman on the left. And the Hoosiers may have just found the dagger to end Wake Forest's season. Set pieces have been so dangerous. And a deflection that gets past Trey Southman to make it three. Definition. And the referee has now said that there's a gray area to be able to do stuff like that. It, it's still a red card. Anyways. Well, we... Oduro, Gumbali was there, and Cummins. Indiana defender, Kojima trying to make some room here. Swallowed with a hit, and it's directly at the hands of Harms. What a stop. Two goals for Hugo Bacharach. The FDU Knight. Well, the fight here in the first session of overtime is complete. And Indiana believes... We're off. Yeah. It's Swallen. a shame that one of them has to Swallen. Another good chance to even the score. 
Trying to connect on that diagonal pass. Gumbali, here's Oduro with a blast, Mike. Swallow. And stuck in between the two hands by Harms. The Roland Mitchell, does he have any more magic in his boot? The Winston-Salem, an end Wake Forest 2023 season. After blow, after blow, after blow, the Hoosiers.